Hey, hey, is anybody home today? And has anybody else left their house? And most of all, Carly, are you on here? Not most of, of all, but all of y'all can't be my daughter, especially if you're dudes, because that doesn't match. Friends, Rachel, hey. Hey, hey, it's Rachel J. Here we are in Guayaquil. Is that right? Guayaquil. Guayaquil. I can't say it. Guayaquil. Don't ask me again in one minute because I'm not going to know. It's Guayaquil. Okay? It's Guayaquil, and that makes no sense. So there's nothing to match that to. And here we are downtown. And here you can see the sights. We're staying here. We stayed here last night, and then we're leaving tomorrow to go to the Galapagos Islands. Huh? Here we are. Yes, Renata in the house. Hello, beautiful. Hey, friends. Hey, Trudy. What are y'all doing? Doesn't it seem like I'm on late? See, it's 8.30 here. It's 8.23. So it's 9.23 South Carolina time, which is what, I'm, you know, I think is the only time in the world. So anyway, what I was going to tell y'all is a couple of things. First of all, First, first of all, let's review what the outfit of the day is. Hold on a minute. Hi, oh, please. What are y'all doing today? Is anybody else on vacation? So here is where I have clearly overpacked, okay? But that's just how it is. And here is the outfit of the day. Hi, oh, wait. Hi, there we go. Huh? You have a little tucky, and then you have, and you have a little pouchy. And, um, hey, so I was going to tell you that, let's see if there's something to prop your arm on. Hmm. I know. Look, I just thought of this, the arm of the chair. Huh? <laughs> you are like, really? Well, usually we're driving, right? So anyway, I was going to tell you that yesterday I went from Greenville Spartanburg to Charlotte to Miami, which was no one understanding my accent. And then I was trying to think, like I watched Dora the Explorer and she, some people were speaking Spanish and, but all I could remember is swiper no swiping. So that wasn't helping me out. And, um, and even if I knew the, some words, like it, it, would ha it would sound strange, so no. Anyway, so, any so I had brought a lot, I had had a smoothie and juice before leaving um, on what was a, a, a very speedy ride to the airport where my son was driving. Can people quit asking me, is that my boyfriend? Cause that's very strange. <laughs> is that your man? That is my man cub, okay? And that's two different things. Anyway, so we got over there. He has Ellie. He's sending me pictures of Ellie at the laundromat in the bin on top of the towels. And she is looking like, what is this place? Okay, you said I was going on vacation. And the more I think about it, Carly, are you on here? Like you, I don't know what friends he's taking Ellie May to because she, be careful little eyes what you see. I don't know these people. So, Cheryl, I was over in the group too. My group ended yesterday, but it never ends. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so, uh, then in the Charlotte airport, I, th listen, you all that are traveling, that are like, oh, there was nothing to eat. I had to have beer and burritos. It was vegan, ding, ding, ding. That's not ding, 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 okay? That is epic fail because then you're gonna be bloated, lethargic, all these things. Why do you want that? Why do you not wanna feel great when you're on your vacation, huh? And also I'm looking around at the Charlotte airport and definitely in the Miami airport. I, look, if you locked me in there, I could live because there was, there was even like a little fresh market, um, kind of like a little mini grocery. And you could, uh, especially, listen, if you friends that are plant-based and eating cooked food, 
I don't know what you're talking about. There's not a problem. If you're raw, there were fruits and veggies around. There were greens, there were salads that you could modify, okay? And why didn't you bring your own avocados anyway? So, but I had brought, I had a smoothie and juice before leaving. I had brought um, some fruit and greens. And then I brought some uh, bananas and then some celeries and dates, which was banana, celery, date, snacky, right? And I had plenty of food. I had my chias, I had, um, I felt energized. I wasn't thinking like, oh, I'm running out of time, nothing to eat, I had that. Um, there was a jamba juice in there, there was, and here at the hotel, uh, my friend was just telling me that um, he was down there, but you see, I had to create this, this hair, all right? <laughs> So, that there is a juicer down there and someone taking orders for fresh juice. You can choose green juice, you can choose veggie juice. There's fruit. See, he brought me some fruit in here. Not knowing that I don't combine melons and bananas. And I'm fixing to tell him about that in just a little bit so he can be broadening his horizon of food combining, okay? Food combining made easy. I have a video on that. If, if, uh, a Tanny Raw YouTube, food combining made easy, bam. Anyway, so today we are going all touring around the city and um, we're doing all the things. I have a raincoat and it's the rainy season here, but there's it's uh, overcast today and it might rain later. And um, anyway, we're gonna do all the things and then we're planning the excursions and there'll be plenty of food. And um, the thing is like, if you are concerned that you have a new friend maybe and like so show up as you help them understand that you're not trying to change what they're doing and you're not trying to you will find something because at the end of the day you got two choices does anybody know you make it happen or you make an excuse right I mean at the end of this year here we are I'm thinking that today is, today is April Fool's Day. Is that right? Is it? Is that right? Psst. April 1st? It is. Carly, hey! <laughs> I'm concerned about Ellie Carly because the more I think about it, I don't know where he's, he's like, Ellie will go everywhere with me. And then I'm thinking like where he goes sometimes and I'm not knowing, like, sometimes he comes around, I'm, I try to smell him, you know what I mean? He's like, why do you have to smell me? Like, I just do. It is March, it is April 1st. So what I'm gonna say is this, here we are in the fourth month. What are you doing? Because three months have passed and you said you were gonna do this thing. The new year changed, I mean last year and the year before, huh? And when you get to the end of the year, there'll be the blame game, there'll be excuses, there'll be self-hatred, all that kind of stuff, or there could be a celebration. And at the end of the day, that all boils down to you, it really does. You have to smell your man, your man cub, that's just how it is. See, I don't have to sniff Carly, like I know that she's gonna smell like patchouli and like sage and freshness. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so anyway, um, the weather is about 76. God, I got, came out of the airport and see, I didn't, I went outside at Miami, but it was like 85 there. And I got out of here, at, came out of the airport and you had to go through, like they check you and I mean, and um, I think that when you go to the Galapagos Islands, there's like dogs standing on the luggage and they're patting you down and it, all this stuff, you know?
And so anyway, when we stepped out, I was like, whoa, it was so cold on that plane. It was like 50 degrees. I'll tell you what was interesting is there was this young guy beside me. He, uh, I told him he was about my son's age and uh, he said, how, he couldn't understand what I was saying. He was from here. And um, and I kept on saying, look out the window. He's like, I know, I live here. Like when we got here, <laughs> I was like, look, do you want me to back up so you can see out the window too? Cause I was at the window seat. He's like, no, I fly all the time. I'm like, okay, good. Like, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> hogging the window. Anyway, well, I'll tell you what's sad is all those planes, not, not him, he was a little bit older, but these even smaller kids, even when an airplane takes off, off the ground into the sky, they don't even look up out of their tablets, off their tablets. That is pathetic, is what it is. I was thinking it would be great for Griffin's birthday if it, Cardi, we could go to like Atlanta and we could, um, we could go a place for the day, you know, and he could get to ride the airplane. And it was even cool, like in the bathroom, like it was quite luxurious in there, like not like you think. And there was good lighting too. A girl needs good lighting. I mean, that's that could like depress you or enlighten your day, you know? You could go in there and be like, what the heck happened? Or you could be like, okay, I'm still mad. I've been traveling all day. You know, I'm getting off to my new friend and I'm trying to, I'm trying to represent. <laughs> <laughs> something <laughs> uh, and and that leg up that last leg oh my gosh it was like over four hours I, I can't sit still and I had nothing to do except think and that's scary friends and then like I, I couldn't reach my notebook and pen so I couldn't get the ideas out of my brain and they were just rattling around and the friends in my brain were tossing them, you know? So, hello, Myra. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yes. So the guy beside me who said he wasn't almost 21 like Christopher, but that he was 15. And um, he was a large dude. And I watched him the whole time, the whole flight, did he almost have some kind of, there's a point to this, uh, some kind of sweets. The food came, which um, I didn't get, and they had choices of like pasta or you could get chicken and rice. And I was like, no thank you. And um, then the salad had like cheese on it. I'm thinking, don't you just have tomatoes and lettuce because I was getting thirsty and I wanted that, but no. And what do they think? Like the whole world eats chicken and pasta or, ri or pasta or rice? Again, do not expect this world to accommodate you. You accommodate you and you cruise around the world effortlessly. Me accommodating my raw vegan lifestyle is the easiest thing I do. It's not a problem. And if it's a problem to you, it could be a couple of things that you're still in the mode of wanting to make an excuse or you are still addicted to your old ways. You haven't been doing it long enough that it seems normal. I mean, when you first started cooking, you know, you couldn't cook. I remember when I first made, I, I was gonna make this tuna helper for my ex-hubby and I thought, oh, it's just it's so great. I, I chose it and I had the saltine crackers because we had, <laughs> I had $25, I think it was 50, $50 a week. Yes, it was, because it was 200 a month, 50 a week to make all the meals out of that house. And I was like, oh, okay. And um, anyway, so I burnt that stuff to the bottom of the pot and once I finally learned how to cook tuna helper, I presented that and I was like, huh, I thought, I thought I had done a thing. I really did. So it's just a matter of, you know, learning to walk the walk of your new walk. But um, what else I want to tell you? Oh, yes. So the guy on the plane, which he said his name, but I wasn't understanding it, so I don't know. But um, anyway, he was eating the whole way. There was some kind of sweets he was putting in his mouth. And when the food came, I noticed that he didn't even eat like the entree. He ate just, he had about nine Coca-Colas, okay? 
and he had all this candy, all packaged food, all that. When your gut microbiome has dysbiosis, are you picking this up? When the bad bacteria is over weighing the good bacteria, you got a problem because that is its brain of its own and it's controlling you around. So by the end of the day, when you think, why am I doing the thing I said I wasn't going to do? Because you're not controlling your brain. Your gut is. So anyway, that's a thing to think about. Cleaning out your guts, which I have a lot of videos on. Um, but anyway, so uh, we are planning our excursions right now. And so I had time to chit chat and watch me up in the Insta stories. And I'll be showing photos of the island and we're going snorkeling. But now I'm knowing the water's cold and I'm worried. The water's cold, but it's one reason there's so much great, fantastic sea life there because the cold current meets the the warm current. Doesn't that make you think about Nemo when they're like, what was that chart? He's like, dude, the, what was that current he wrote on? Anyway, and there's these huge, huge tortoises. And I don't know if multiple tortoise is torti. I don't know. <laughs> Or is it just tortoise? Or is it tortoises? And that's not with apostrophe S yes, because that would be tortoise is. Tortoises with an apostrophe after would be, it belongs to the tortoise. It's too many rules. <laughs> You're welcome, Paige. So anyway, the torta, they're all over the place. And today we're going to this park where the there's some kind of lizards huge lizards i don't know if they like have harnesses and you can ride but i won't do that that's very unvegan like though it sounds cool doesn't it <laughs> they're strong i've seen alligators i don't weigh that much okay i don't know if it's komono dragons or what's it called iguanas iguanas Yes, iguanas, and we're doing that. And then we're gonna shop, and in, in the, the pouchy, I do have, I have dollars, and I'm gonna buy some souvenirs. Yes. And we are going to have all the food, and we're going to the market, and there will be pictures, and I am trying to look cute for pictures at, beside the market. Like like years ago when I saw Natalia, which is Natalia Rose, on the front of book, what was that book called? Into the Raw. Uh, I saw her do that, and I thought, I, I could do that. What's it called, Karen? I know you know. And Griffin will have to get a souvenir. And I want to think if there would be like some local, like little musical instrument type thing. Like not a maraca, because I don't think that's here. But my friend was telling me you have to, you want to buy something that actually is made local, not really made in Japan. They put in a stand to look like it's local. Okay? Don't act like I'm from South Carolina. You want to see out the window? And then I'm going, and this is the, the outfit of the day, which I don't even think I'll wear these shoes because I have, which I'm going to wear these on the beach. But these are my favorite chacos, do you see? And, um, yes, I'll show y'all out the window, and then we're going. Share all this exciting. Let me show you. See? It is a big city, and now I can't pronounce the name, so don't ask me again. Guayaquil. Guayaquil. <laughs> huh? And and then be careful because um oh I'm too close now. Like people will take your phone if you're like hey and you're t you're talking to the friends on the phone somebody will snatch it. Now that is tragic. Brandon, hey, did you come on vacation? So, um, 
Chacos are shoes. It is a type of shoes that never wears out. And you can, uh, I was just telling him that he needs some new sandals. And I was saying the Chacos, once you have a pair of those, ask Carly. She lives in those. And she is always like trekking around up like a 90 degree steep and then steep mountain. And then she's like playing in the water and dressing out beside the road. And always the Chacos hold up. <laughs> I'm not sure where she got that because like that sounds good. And I, I want to be that girl, but I'm having to ease into that. Okay, I like earrings too. But in my fanny pack, and I have a great rain jacket. So, and in my fanny pack, I am very minimalistic. I only have one lip glosser in there. That's right, one. Okay, I have one nose powder, which is all you need. I have one money card and what else is in here? Oh, and, and you don't want to forget this because sometimes so I can just entertain myself. <laughs> what is that? Oh yes. Oh, I have the small pick, okay? Huh? And really. And um <gasps> yes, you don't want to forget, like see how that little piece is coming loose? Don't act like I'm not perfect. The Wi-Fi is great in here, isn't it? It's better than my house. Look, do y'all have these? <clears throat> do you see that I have done my nails too? It's a love story. <laughs> okay, I hope y'all have a great day. And I'll put, be putting some pictures up in Insta story. And, um... I'm gonna be doing like a slideshow post, but I have to see when I have time for that. You want me to be able to look up from my phone, don't you? Really, you do. I never, I'm, this is like, it's a vacation, right? Anyway, I love you and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Fly butterflies.